The Prophet ﷺ one day, he says, أَلَا أُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِأَكْبَرِ الْكَبَائِرِ It's a hadith of Abi Bakr radiallahu anhu. He says, should I not inform you of the biggest of sins? And so he said, Ashirku billahi. He started off with the same one that was in the previous hadith. Then he says, Uququl walidain. Subhanallah. What is the meaning of Uququl walidain? Well, the translation of it would include to be disrespectful or hurtful or abusive towards your parents. It does not mean obedience because obedience is confined to what is within what Allah has ordained. Which means if your parents are asking you to do something Allah has prohibited, you cannot obey them. Even if they say you are now doing uquq, you will tell them, my father, this is not uquq. This is actually doing you a favor. I'm not going to buy your alcohol for you because Allah has disallowed that. Subhanallah. I'm just giving you an example. So be kind towards your parents, be dutiful towards them, speak to them in a respectful way, even when you disagree with them. Speak in a very beautiful way. Don't abuse them. It's the second sin from Akbarul Kabair. You need to memorize it and know it and talk about it because the new generations seem not to give a damn about their parents and the status of parents. And the last one, the Prophet ﷺ was lying down when he mentioned these two. Then he sat up. In one narration, his face changed. And he says, Allah wa qawlu zuri wa shahadatu zur. Allah wa qawlu zuri wa shahadatu zur. Allah wa qawlu zuri wa shahadatu zur. Do you know what that means? Behold, to utter that which is of false witness, that which is false and to bear false witness. To utter falsehoods and to bear false witness. Didn't we say earlier, one who bears false witness is engaging in a major sin when we accuse others. But this is more encompassing in that sometimes you are lying about something, whether it is in a court or not in a court. If it is in a court in front of the judge, it is even worse. But even if it is not there and you are bearing false witness, subhanallah, it is a major sin. The Sahaba say he kept repeating this, these words. Allah wa He kept repeating them until we felt we hope he keeps quiet now. He continued to repeat them until we felt, but we hope he keeps quiet. My brothers, my sisters, I end on this note to say, let us make sure we are always truthful. If you have lost something because of your truthfulness, Allah will replace it with a million things. And if you have gained something because of your falsehood, Allah will replace it with a million regrets that you may have. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us forgiveness and open our doors. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to abstain from sin and to seek forgiveness all the time.